May you find the Dupongi vendor. Go ahead. <laughs> Where you find where at?
Well, to be fair, like, at first, like, when I was obviously playing through it, at first it did get quite, you know, it got quite annoying because it's like, I was thinking to myself, what's the whole purpose of me doing, like, it, it just felt like it just got repetitive in a way because you, it's like, you're not gaining anything from doing it. It looks fucking cool, but then obviously since I keep doing it, it's obviously grown on me. Plus, at the same time, uh, I've got a skill that allows me. There it is. If I uh, obviously death blow, yeah, death blow op opponents, it gives me life. So if I obviously get hit by something, I obviously can. I gain life back so I don't have to really you know. I don't I don't I'm not sure I'm not exactly sure why I'm like one hitting these things. Or it might just because there's a lot of them. Maybe you get absolutely fucking mud like that. Ooh. First, because I thought, oh, you gain like. I haven't played this yet. Is it similar to Souls and Bloodborne? Right. If you're a big Souls person, like myself, this game isn't a Souls game. It's got elements of souls in it, but it's not a soul thing. It might look it, but it's not. It's kind of like... You can kind of say it's like uh, if you ever played... Darksiders 3. It's a hack and slash but it's got the elements of a Souls game in it. So it's not technically a Souls game in a way. People might treat it as a Souls game, but this ain't a Souls game. It does feel the same, but it, it's it's not. It's There's no way, because like, come on. I'm pretty sure on a fucking Souls game, you can't... Sorry, but on a soul game, you can't jump about like a headless chicken. What games can you do that on? A hack and slash game. Like, come on, you can climb up trees, you can go like... The way that they've made the game is like in a cool way. So basically the whole point of this game, you are a ninja. You are, because you're a shinobi. The shinobis are ninjas. So it's like, they have made the game so you could play like a ninja if you really, really wanted to. Like, you can literally go through literally parts of the game stealthily and it, you don't have to fight. And the biggest thing with this game is it heav it's heavily focuses on blocking as well. It's heavily focused on blocking. Like, there's no stamina bar, there's, there's nothing. The only thing that there is, it's, it's your posture bar. You can kind of say it's like your stamina from Neo, but it isn't stamina because this game it hasn't got stamina. So you can, like I said, you can literally just constantly keep swinging, and it's like you can, mate, you can badly manipulate bosses as well. You can badly manipulate bosses. When I started playing the game, I was playing it like a Souls game, like dashing, dashing at the right time, gaining invincibility frames. No, it doesn't work like that. Even the game itself, it does attacks where you can't dodge. You have to 
jump up, you have to do like a hit to, to counter it and stuff. This is you might look like a Souls game, but it's not. Bask, basket, 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 basket. I am a basket. Hey. Basket, 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 basket. Calm down. You are you and yes. You are an honorable person. But well, I can see something you want to ask? Look, sorry, but like if you have questions, since have answer with this I never played this game. I've had like I've literally had this game since oh, launch. I'll be here, hiding in this I think he's just a uh, he's just scared and <laughs> I've had this game since launch. I had the game since launch and I never ever played it. I never opened it. It was still wrapped up for the past like for how many months I had it. It was still wrapped up. I never undid it and played it. And I'm like, how the hell have I not played this game yet? And like all the way through, how the hell do I get back out? I was thinking to say, when I watched the Game Awards, I'm thinking, surely fucking Resident Evil 2 is easily going to get Game of Year, because it, it fucking deserves it. And then this got Game of Year, and I'm like, mate, how did this beat Resident Evil 2? Literally within the first 10 minutes of me playing this fucking game, I'm like, I can see why this game got Game of Year. I can see it. Like, the atmosphere, the voice acting, it's fucking perfect. Like, it's a fucking good game. And... Obviously, you can make it so if you want to play in Japanese, you can. You can have subtitles to speak Japanese subtitles, but obviously, I want to in full English. I can obviously play the game. I don't have to read about 50,000 things. But, like, the whole atmosphere and stuff of the game, it's. It's, it's remarkable, and I can I just I can just see why the game got Game of Year. Everything about it, the voice acting, the gameplay is awesome. And it's like I said, if you like, come on, you can freaking start jumping about in trees. And it's like, right, how do I do this bit? I, I want to do all this bit stealth, and it's like, right, I can like commute like proper. Figure it out and say, right, I'll go for that dude there when he turn around. Oh wait, I can just get an item. Cause it's same again. I'm you. You can use items to to help you at like even more and stuff. Like there's there's a thing that I picked up that that you throw it and it distracts them. So it's like right, I can just throw this and then go and kill him. Whenever do you use items like on a Souls game? Never. Cause Soul games are meant to be fighting all the time. This is nothing like it. You can play it like that if you wanted to, but this game is is it's like everything. To, to the, to, for the main reason, it's not a Souls game. People may think it is, but it's not. It's nothing like a Souls game. But it's got the elements of Souls games in it. Like, like I said, a great example is Darksiders 3. Darksiders 3 plays the same. It's a hack and slash, but it's got the elements of Soul game, of the Soul game. You get checkpoints, but you can jump about, do combos and stuff. And it's like, yeah, this is pretty much the same. Oh, sweet, I got a grand suit. He's not fucking grabbing me. So, and it's like, it's like with this game as well. Yeah, if you learn the enemies, it's like, right, parrying once is dead. No, you can't just parry one person and kill it instantly. Unless if they've got, like, stupidly low posture. Obviously, when it does, oh, he grabbed me. I didn't fucking realise. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, these zombie things, man. Fuck off. Connor, can you seriously stop sending me a message? If you're in chat, they've just been popping up. But yeah, if you like Soul games, this is a must. Hundred fucking, hundred percent, it's a must. But if you also like hack right, and slash, just, uh, 
Do you wanna go online? It's a or? definite must. Yeah, can I hear? I'm just uh People saying that it's blue. like it's a Souls game. It isn't. It is and it isn't. It's just like Darksiders. You can kind of say. Like I said, if you love Soul games, this is a must. Okay, quick question. Who is your favorite horseman in, in, in Darksiders? Wow, it depends because I obviously played one. He's just a bitch. Two, death. Yeah, death's cool, but yeah, but number three. Forgot her name. She's fucking badass, mate. I don't give a shit. She's badass. And obviously we also seen the thingy do as well. Ivy, that's it, no. Alright, I've, I've got the name. And then we also obviously seen... Jesus Christ, these fucking things. You mean Fury? That's it, yeah, Fury. She's fucking awesome. If you love Souls games, then, like I said, it's a must. It's a 100% must. But, if you want to play something like Darksiders, it's a hack and slash with elements of Souls games in it, then, again, it's, it's a must. Because it's like with this game, you can survive for a very, very long time. Like, you can... Because if I die right now... With all this money that I've just made, if I die, I'm going to lose every single lot of it. So it's like it's forcing you to use it. But it's same again. I'm I'm playing it like a Souls game. I don't buy things from merchants or anything unless I need to. Come on, I can jump in this water. Whenever you see Dark Souls jumping in water, none. Like I said, if you like Souls, this is. People might play it like a Souls game, but you're doing it wrong. And plus, at the same time, it does kind of prove it with the bosses because the bosses, they do the same thing over and over and over again. Not, yeah, you can kind of say it in Dark Souls, yeah, they do this attack over and over again. But literally, they do the same thing. Like it's a hack and slash game. Right, you need to like manipulate what I'm doing so you can hit me. Oh, I do this attack now. If you hit me in a certain way, it's going to stun me. Kind of way. It's like I said. If you want to do a parry build, you, you pretty much can. One, you play the Souls games every other game. Well, yeah. But, like... I don't... I'm sorry, but yeah, this this is a, this is an awesome game. Go. Cool. <sighs> hey. Oh, 
what was I going to say? Yeah, I absolutely love this game. Because all my mates at work are like, oh, you you need to play Shakiro. How the fuck you not played it yet? You're going to love it. And it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong. This game is fucking fantastic. And then, I'm sorry, but it's still, without a doubt, I don't give a shit who you are. Neo is the best Souls game. It's got everything about that game is perfect. It's got ele like RPG elements in it. You can customize your character in a way. You can get different looking things. You can get stats. You can build it up and stuff. You can make your own builds. And I'm sorry, but when I first saw this, I thought, oh, mate, it's going to be like another Neo. I can like proper make the guy look fucking awesome and shit. Oh, no, no, no such thing as that. That's why I can't wait. Oh shit! Just a... So I've obviously triggered something because it's just spawned all these. And it, yeah, the game has got stuff like in Soul game, like you can be poisoned, you can be put on fire. Oh no, they hit you with a fire weapon twice, it burns you. You need to have about 50,000 times to burn. It's got fear, like what that dude just thrown at me, that's fear. I think it's great. Obviously, Marty Barker's all that's in the night. That's what that is. I need to play this smart though. But there is things that, it's like I said, there is things in the game that can help. Instead of just fighting, it's like, oh, I've got this skill I can use that can, like, manipulate stuff. It's like with my arm. I've got so many different things, I just don't use them. I can, I can do skills. I've got skills I can do. I've got a feeling this thing that I picked up, this flame thing, I've got a feeling it's part of something. I've got to take it somewhere. Or I could be wrong. Because it said something that I can... The flame. Oh, oh, is it the main thing that I need? Because uh. I'm after like certain things to go back to put in. Anyway, then I put the. I know so I, yeah th this is not a souls game I can literally run away like this and then just insta kill them if I wanted to because they've not seen me again anymore I can literally if I can, I'm pretty sure I could I could just jump down and just insta kill them never mind I lied I have got a feeling I'm going to kill them. What about builds in the game? Can I make scorching glass cannon build? No, there's literally there's no builds. There's nothing. There's nothing in the game. There's no builds and nothing. 
you get the weapon, you fire, you while you get the sword, you swing, that's it. Mate, I have even I've even I even unlocked a sword. This, this mortal obviously I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna tell you obviously the mortal blade, it's on my back. I don't even fucking use it. Oh sorry, I can use it if I put it in as a skill. Doing that. But it costs me things at the bottom right, me eleven things. So there's no point. Might as well just keep this on because then if I get surrounded I could just use that attack just to spin around and hit more brand and like that. But yeah, the sword you got on your bag, you don't fucking use it. I thought, oh mate, this sword looks sick. You don't use it. It's just like a accessory in a way. It's just there to make you look pretty. That's all it is. And there's obviously this, you can, if you die, you can re like resurrect yourself, but you can't do it like over and over. But you can if you get so, like if you keep getting kills, the, like the thing where it's crossed that, it obviously comes back. But I think I've died twice at this point. So now I think I can resurrect back because I've got so many kills back. Yeah, well, the sword does look cool, but it's the only way you can use it. I've got a feeling I'm I'm missing something here. Because it's like the whole point of this place is like weird. Because the place wasn't like this before. I killed this dude and then it changed to this. So maybe I am done in this place. I don't know. Because the item that I got, I can't even remember what I got. I got something, it said something about a flame. But I've got a feeling I might know what it is. The thing that I need to go back. Because I don't think it's in here, is it? No, it's not in there. So. What's that in? It looks. No. That's not it. <sighs> right, anyway. I've got a feeling I need to kill these things because it's like the little ones just keep spawning. Like, I've got to kill them. In, s in some way. That's what it kind of feels like. I don't think you can. I don't think you can like insta kill them. So you have to get spotted. If I get one of them at a time, I'll be able to beat them. But yeah, these just keep constantly keep spawning. They did before because they die. Where's the other dude? There's no way to be seen. It's just me and you, bitch. To be fair, I think it would be better for me to use this. And obviously, when it does that symbol, that means they're doing an attack. That you need to move. You can't dodge. Like you obviously you can see him, he's planting it down to say right, he's doing a grab in a way. I can't remember what game does that. There's another there's an, like a hover another hack and slash that does that, like sparks to say, right, I'm doing a move that you can't block. You've got to like move or jump. So it's like if you the way that you can obviously play it, you can obviously see the bar. You can see his life at the top, and then you can see the bar at the bottom. That bar is his, his, his posture. 
obviously if you keep hitting him it goes it goes up if it goes full it breaks the guard so then you instantly can kill them like it, that's like the finish oh. oh mate like that's pretty much to kill them in a way but you could obviously keep just keep parrying them if you keep parrying them obviously the posture goes up and then you can just kill them instantly like without even swinging or you could pretty much do it like stealthily and stuff if you really want to and then backstab him or whatever and i accidentally fell down and i didn't mean to and i can't get back up so probably nearly all these things are probably spawned back unless if i did kill them right this might actually just show knife if i can actually insta kill these people oh i didn't go this way I think this is gonna be the night with the top of the I didn't go down there. So maybe that's where I need to go. I'm going back down there though, so I wanna see what's down there. I've got I've got a feeling something's gonna happen if I kill the two big dudes. It does look like I need to go there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Let me try it. So I've not killed this dude yet. So maybe... Kill it with that as a respawn. Unless if it is just a different person spawn. Obviously these things I'm picking up by you upgrade. You can upgrade your stuff like you and and whatever there's a shrine over there look i didn't see it so the, how the fuck did i miss that maybe because i went how did i miss that or is this the beginning is this where it came from no it can't be so this is the save point so maybe yeah, because I killed all these chickens. Oh, yeah, because I came, because I went over water, didn't I? All right. Right, that dude's there. Let's see if I can actually insta-kill him. Unless if he just auto-triggers. Yeah, so you can. You can instantly kill him. Or it might respawn. Triggered the. Is that that dude? So I can hear a bell. Whoever spawned. Unless if it was that fish, I don't know. So he did spawn back. Because there's another one. Right there. And obviously the main reason why it keeps coming up with a red circle is because I've got a move on that allows me if I backstab someone like stealthily I can pretty much make them my puppy. Do you need to get merchants or pieces to upgrade? Yeah you can. It's, it's the things I've been picking up. It's like these lot. Oh no. These are like yeah. Some of them are like, oh, burns, heals, burns. So if I'm on fire, I drink that, right? Fire's gone. Poison, drink it, get poison gone. These are like, yeah. It makes it so my health's more, I gain more attack power, more uh, posture and stuff. These are your yeah, coins. Like, you yeah, get more drop, item drop rate. Uh, more souls when you get kills type stuff. And then... Yeah, upgrade materials. Here, here we go. So that was it. Upgrade materials. It's the flame vent. Oh, so that. It's to upgrade that. So yeah, all these are like your materials to upgrade stuff. To upgrade your arm. That's the only, I'm, at the minute, that's the only thing I've been upgrading. But I've not even upgraded it once yet. Because I don't use it.
but there is, it's like I said, I could probably do fights that using this would help out even more. What the hell is that? What, what am I triggering? It's this fish in it. So yeah, you obviously get your souls. You get your kills, you get souls. Blah, 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 blah. And obviously to get money over your scene, you just get killed. But if you die, you will... If you obviously, if you die, die. If you don't resurrect. If you die, die, die. You're going to nearly lose every single lot of them pennies. You do, you do lose like quite a bit of souls, but you do lot, you do lot, lot, you do lose a lot of money. But it's like I've not been using it. I've been finding merchants. I'm thinking, oh, he's got this. I can buy it. So then it gives, because it's like a main important thing to buy. Because I always play soul games like this. I never buy things. It's like when I've got so many of these things because I don't use them. So it's like when I throw when I've the seed. The seed. Uh, where is it? Where's the seed? There's that seed that I picked up in front of that tree. That's like yeah. Can't even find it. Uh, that's your thingy to upgrade. It's in here, isn't it? That grand seed. It's to upgrade your flask. So I gain more. So I can drink more. Like, I've got seven now. If I go back, I'll get eight. And then these, these things here, are pretty much your health and your posture. And to get them, you fight mini bosses. So yeah, you get them for fighting mini bosses in a way. You need four to, to upgrade it. And obviously, I've got two at the minute. Oh, you are playing this like a Souls game. Yeah, exactly. It's like. But it's this it's it's the, it's the way that I've always played anyway. If I play like a hack and slash, pretty much nearly anything, I don't use stuff. I don't use magic. I don't use anything. I don't use items. Nothing. Right. Anyway, where were this this shrine? Basically, your shrines are obviously your bonfires. Up here, what's it? So now I'm curious, what was down that pathway? What was down... There was that water bit, wasn't there, that I said that maybe I need to go down there. So what the hell was down there? If I can find it. So it's pretty much now if I oh, if I pretty much rest now everything's gonna spawn. It's, that's the souls I think. But I've always done like I've always put like I play souls. I kill everything and then if I get to a shrine, I don't go back because I've pretty much just completed that entire here because I've just killed everyone. So there's the shrine. Oh yeah, cause it was down there, yeah, 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 it was down there. And as you can see, you can tell he's a, he's a fucking ninja, because look how fast he is. I'm, I'm curious of what's down there. There's a fucking soul, fucking demon, fucking whatever, I'm not fighting that. Not yet, anyway. I probably go up this. I probably go up there anyway. I've actually versed one of them dudes before, so maybe if I, that's just a shortcut, and I can't get up this stupid wall. What about the skill tree? Yeah, you can. It's same again, because I'm just doing it like. I'll just show you because I'm next to a shrine anyway. So obviously, I don't think I've been here. No, I am. I'm not. 
So now, obviously, if I rest, yeah, everything's just going to spawn back. And it's obviously acquired skills. So obviously, I find. Obviously, this is the main, like, your main skill tree, in a way. So I thought, yeah, I started playing Unlock that, and then I seen that, and I thought, oh, so it's pretty much just like a super parry, but you can only use it against people that do, like, low attacks, in a way. Like, like it shows on the picture. And then I seen that, and I thought, oh, mate, so every time I'm death killing something, I gain life back. And then, obviously, this this is for, as you can see in the picture, it's, it's mainly for my arm, in a way. But I kind of wish I did that because there's that. Because that obviously in it increases when I drink. Obviously, drink the flask. It obviously gives me more health. And then this, I unlocked for obviously beating a dude. And then same again with this. I unlocked this for pretty much beating the dude. So obviously, it's like an upgrade within upgrades in a way. But it does look like there's going to be more like, like three more that you can unlock. But I'm just doing it by order in a way. Yeah, I should have got that because then. Oh, you can even do it again. I need five. So I gain more health when I drink. Obviously, memories. What can I say with that? Memories are like main boss souls. From. Dark Souls games. You kill the boss, you get the soul. But on this, you kill the boss, and then that's how you enhance your power. You kill the boss, you get the memory, and then you enhance the your power. So like my attack, it's seven. That unseen aid. That's pretty much. When I die, I've got a four percent chance that I not lose my soul, so I'll lose my cash or whatever. And obviously you can buy because you need them that's what I'm talking about you need them to do your special abilities because that's why I barely use it but obviously I've got 213 anyway so I don't really need to buy them yeah you can fast travel back to places and stuff dragon rot I'm not using that yet I just probably rather because I'm a comp I'm a well I'm a completion as you see I like to I know what soul games are like right I've used this item right I, I can't use it this fucking prick now. I need to play a game about six times just to get it again that's why I don't use when I play souls games I don't use item when if there's an achievement related that I need all skills but like right this is where I can obviously use them so yeah I'm, I'm like I'm a completionist But yeah, because it's like even the cutscene. The cutscene when you get that sword on my back. When you get it, when I saw it, I'm like, mate, this is going to be sick with this sword. Can't use it. Can you see why? Why this? Can you just see how this game got going with you? Can you just see it? Just look at it. The atmosphere and everything about it. I've got a feeling she's going to be... Oh no. She's the person I can talk to. And the voice acting on it is... Being awesome. crying because I'm sad what are you sad about I don't know where Lord Sakuza is or what he's doing it breaks my heart if I can't see him I'd at least like to know but no matter how many letters I send he I'm never pretty sure I do <laughs> and no one will tell me where he is actually sir can you tell me where is Lord Sakuza? Oh, okay, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, you are a liar don't too. 
Why must everyone hide him from me? I fucking knew it. Oh, mate, she's like. She fucking knew it. She's like a psycho from the current. That's another thing I should tell you about this game. It's just, it's just done it to me then. This, like I said before, this game is heavily, heavily, heavily based on blocking. Like, you block so many times on this game. And it's just done it to me then. Say, say for example, it's like when you, but, but obviously when I play a Souls game, I don't block. I don't really block. I obviously use B like a normal person, to obviously, because I've gained invincibility frames. But the the one flaw of this game, since it is heavily like blocking based, say for example, I'm fighting something like like now. I was blocking the entire time. I was literally pressing LB to block the entire time. But because my guy went over like a little like a little hump on the floor, like a little brick, it automatically cancels out the blocking. So, but the game still thinks you're blocking because when you get hit, your posture goes up. And then when you let go, you automatically break posture. Like it's, I, I, per, I do personally think it's glitch. I've never experienced that on Souls games. It's all you can kind of say. It's like when you play a Souls game, you go over a little hill and then you drop down and then it automatically just you just stop. Like you just like you you, you fell down something. It's just done it to me then when she was hitting the shit out of me. So it's like that. You can't block that. You have to jump away. On Souls games, you can obviously just roll, but you can't. You'll get hit. But now, I'm kind of showing you where I say the bosses, because she's a, she's a mini, she's like a mini boss. When I kill her, I'll get her, I'll get some beads, and then when I said that the game does the same thing over. And over and over and over again. It's, she's doing the same attacks over and over again. Souls games don't do that. But now, the only games that kind of do that is a hack and slash game. Because then, it says right. You put in your mind, it's saying right. I'm just fighting a fucking hit with this. There. So it's like thinking in my mind, right. When's the best time for me to hit it? It's like a, you, you can kind of say it's kind of souls. That's all it is. And yeah, it's got its typical soul shit. You play the move, dodge, whatever, you still get hit. Right, I think it's about time I actually burst it. So it's like, right, when do I attack her? When would it be the best time? Now. Because 9 out of 10, the game will parry you. Because when it sparks like that, you've been parried. So it's like, right, I need I need to find out the best timing to hit it. But obviously, there's probably something that I could use that obviously is going to help me in a big way. But she's literally just doing the same thing over and over and over again. But it's like, you can play... You Yeah, you can play it like a Souls game. You keep hitting her. Just hitting her, hitting her, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. But it's going to take a long time. Because then, like I said, the game is heavily based on blocking. So if you remember how she moves, you can keep parrying her. Just like that. And then a posture bar is going to go up. And then I can just instantly kill her. But I have to do it twice because where you see the circle in the two circles, that's a two life bar. When I get down, I do an inch like a thingy attack on it. So like now nah, I've died, but I can resurrect. 
obviously if I die now, I'm dead, 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 dead. I'm going back to the shrine. But I need to find out how to actually fight him. Let's see how much dollar I lose. I, I, I lose because I had over a thousand. I'm probably going to lose nearly half of that because I died. Yeah, just lost 507 gold and I lost 1,499 souls. So, like I said, it's not a souls game. I ain't what are you, what are you letting you get out of this shit. I'm having you. I don't know. Keep getting hit by that attack. Kinda looks like she can't parry. Like I've been parrying her, but my bar's going up. I'm parrying her, but it's like she's parrying me. My bar's going up, and her bar's barely moving. So maybe you've got to fight her normally. Yeah, and you've got your typical souls. Right, he's healing. Attack! 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 Oh, so you can't, when she does like ghost mode, you can't hit her. When she's like, ah, uh, you can't hit her. But yeah, I don't know why. That's another, there's another thing within the game, nearly every single mini boss can be like, they can be hit instantly, they can, you can take, you can take a health off them in like, straight away. Every mini boss has got something like that. So maybe there's a way, but I don't really know, maybe there's a way to, Oh, you can just hit it. You hide Lord Sakuza from me. So it's. Too fast, you can't. 
So after the third hit, you can hit her. Same again, I was blocking the entire time. I, I, I was blocking. I don't get why my bar's going up though, when I'm parrying it. He's just done it again. My, like my input just got, like it ate my input. I swung, but it didn't do it. Get me with that swing though. Evil spirit. There's a special word for it. Yeah, and also if they get you from behind, you can't do shit. Hide him from me. And it's also a game. If you get comboed, you can't do nothing. Can't you can kind of say it's like a like a boss has got a unique grab or something that they grab you and it does like a little combo to you. With this, it's, that's pretty much that. If you if they do like a little combo, you can't block out of it. You will get hit. You get hit by everything. It doesn't allow you to do anything. But yeah, she seems. Maybe. She doesn't like fire. How dare you hide Lord Sakuza from me? But it's like I've never used this so many times. Oh, what happens if I use that against him? I get absolutely trounced. Oh, she don't like this sword. She really doesn't. It kind of makes sense. But it's like I've got to, I've got to time it. And even when she blocks, she gets hurt. Let's see how much damage I do with the sword, because the sword, I might as well just tell you. The sword is good against undying things. Ain't it like, a, like an anime that's like that? There's a dude with a sword that can kill fucking demons with his sword or whatever. Ghosts. She don't like this sword. But there's just no there's no like like no timing or anything. That I could use it. Cause when I do that it uses my bar. It uses my things, but if I do it once, it doesn't.
she hit me and I hit her. This is where the souls stuff comes in. I heal and she instantly comes to me. Because she knows I'm healing. It's typical soul shit. So now, if I get her health down, I can do an insta kill to it. That's like the way to get the bar down. But if I keep parrying it with a bar at the top, I can instantly do it. So it's like you can play the game in two different ways. You can play it like a Souls game, like I am doing now, or if you're pretty well, it is pretty much the same. You just learn how to parry, and then you just. You can just pretty much just keep parrying. Also, th this is another thing. I can't. I've been kind of calling this Phase Two Souls because there's always like. Uh, I, can't, I call this game Phase Two Souls because nearly every single enemy has got a phase. They've got second stupid phase. Like on Dark Souls games, it's all like there's that certain boss that's got a different phase. Like there's two phases within one boss. Oh mate, all these bosses have all got two phases. Looks like she does keep doing the same thing. So, but I'm doing that. I'm doing that way too stupidly, and I keep healing because I keep thinking I'm gonna get in the way. But, all right, let's go. That didn't hit me. I clearly jumped out of the way of that attack. So pretty much her phases, it does the, she does the same thing. So obviously now I could do the typical souls thing. I could just learn the movements with the attacks and just keep parrying it. But I obviously rather just keep fighting normally because then I've got more of a chance to not get hit. Oh, yeah, she you hide Lord oh. from me? I did it again. Nah, that's 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 wrong. That's wrong. That's totally wrong. Oh, I didn't know I could do it in the sky. Shall we find a way? When I use that attack, I can just do it in the sky. I keep. Keep going about that as well. Some dodge, I mean, some jump because it just hits me. Let me heal. back up just to heal I keep doing it originally yeah I just, oh wait can I actually oh so it doesn't I thought of course it don't wait but it does because it says it costs three spirits yeah Perry is good print well it's not well 
It's not air parry, it's like nearly every single mini boss does this, like, that's where I said you've got to find, like, you've got to find the right way to hit it, or you find the timing to hit it, in a way. Every mini boss is like this. Well, why is that not taking my things down? Just same again. I was keeping my finger on block. I've got. I have got a feeling I am going to die. I'm not going to beat it. Look, she's waiting. game just fucked me. The game just fucked me. That was my that was my hit to kill her. I was gonna kill her, but she grabbed me somehow. I was in, I was in mid air. Now that's your souls type shit, where bosses hit you with certain things and it's nowhere near you, and it still gets you. That's your souls shit. So I'm, I'm having it this time. At least I know I can keep using this attack, but. That's the reason why she got me because she did the grab. I'd never did the grab. Wait, I've just found the way to kill her. Let her keep hitting you, and then when she because if you let her keep hitting you, unless if she's on the floor. Then she'll do the grab. Fred. She don't like this sword, does she? If I keep parrying her, I'm gonna beat her anyway. See, she does the she does the block. I mean, grab her. Right. Keep getting a posture down. Posture, sorry. Pretty much gonna play because I'm parrying all the moves. Oh man, she gone. So now I've got a bead, so now I've got three. So get another boss, mini boss, I can upgrade my life. It reminds me of that dead Dark Souls 2 boss where it always can grab you. 
to be fair, I can't find a remember Dark Souls 2 because obviously, as we all know, it's the fucking shit one because the, cause the hit detection on the game is fucking awful. I can't remember what boss does that. Boss that keeps grabbing you. Anything I can remember is the fucking mimics. Oh, mate, she's she gave me that as well. Wait, what? So now, I've just unlocked the that again. Wait. Didn't I? Yeah, 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 there's another note. So what's, what's this one do then? Oh, it does the same thing, but it's just worded differently. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait. I just want to quickly try some of it. I've got two. I've got one, four, five. Hey, what? I don't get that then. Why can I do it? Because that bit, well, does it? Because I generally thought you could do the first swing, but you couldn't do the second one because it costs far. It costs you so summon things. But it even clearly states it. Spirit, spirit element cost three. Or because that was a skill, and I'm certain I killed something and it gave me something the same. Pretty sure it was that. Well, I don't, I'll take it right. Is this the way that I came? Well, one. So obviously I've killed her. So now, nah. do I go this way? Oh, okay. This kind of reminds me of the, the DLC level. Just clicked on. Oh, this is where that oh, that spirit dude is. Uh, kind of reminds me of the DLC off of Dark Souls One, where it's all woodland and stuff, where you go up against them rock giants. We fight. The one wolf dude that where he's got his arm broke. So this is where I fight him. But that's another thing. Like I, like I was like I said before, the big thing with these enemies is that. He's obviously, as you can see by his pose, he does like proper samurai stuff. Yeah. So does that? And prepare him. 